it's good to have a sort of morning like this to be able to sit down with fellow farmers that are your neighbours and see where everyone else is sort of headed as to where, you know, it might be a good track for, for our business and our farm to head. What we're doing is working. This is just different ways where we can take it to the next level. So what we're going to do here today, we've got demonstrating this 9RX narrow setup with a Cedar 1910 and an 1890s. So one of the big features on this card is actually the sexing command. You've got your roller set up here. So all of these primaries have individual solenoids on them yep. that close a gate underneath the meter for your sexing command. So you've got your meter cartridge, pretty similar to what we've had before, except you'll notice on the back there, those buttons. So those buttons is what your actuators come through and push, and they actually push these flaps. And those are all independently controlled. So you know, for this bar, we're doing seed and ferd in together. But if we had a bar that had a different gang of fertilizer, we could control those sections based on where they are placed on the bar. Every one of those secondary hoses has a little sensor on it, and that's for our blockage monitoring. And we'll jump in the cab and, uh, and show how this all works in practice. The auto track engage, is it? There we go, yep, it engages now. And then just pull forward till it clicks into the forward detail. Yep. Yeah, simple is best, you know, and, and that's the way that, you know, the technology is going in farming. There's, there's something new out every single day, but sometimes I think you just got to focus on that. You know, go go with it, go right through with the John Deere screen to the tractor to the asset cart to the to the bar possibly even, and make it all you know simplified in in this new technology world that everything's going towards. That's a big thing in agriculture these days. You need to look very deeply into ROI. It's a lot of money to outlay at the start, but if, you know, time is money in farming too. So something this big is going to get the job done quicker. But as I said, as long as it's doing it properly. The iTech sequence is set up so that for their turn automation, you know, literally it's lifting it out of the ground. And, you know, if you want it to slow down, speed up, that'll all happen automatically. So you just sit back and enjoy the ride. Well, no, on our machine we just got a work switch, so whenever you lift it up, yep. stop sewing. Yep. Whenever you put it in the ground, start yep. sewing. Well, that's probably not as foolproof as this, but they definitely be better than turning on the switch yeah. and forgetting about the switch at the end of the run. If you're on the tractor for 15, 16 hours and you get a bit tired and you start missing turns and then that leaves a metre teardrop, well, obviously that's where your weeds are going to grow. Hopefully we don't hit the fence. I'm confident <laughs> we are. <laughs> Yeah, just with the savings and also the automated turning and stuff like that, that once you've refined it enough, I think it would just be the simple of pushing the buttons like it should be. The way that the, the tractor is the same colour as the bin to the bar, that means they all talk very well right from front to back.